year we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of Chateau City The Hague, the birthplace of Chateau City. My name is Sebastian Bonnesman, I am the Executive Director of Justice and Peace. So the inspiration for helping human rights defenders came from uh, a discussion that we had with a lot of human rights defenders from around the world who visited us a long time ago. And um, they spoke about their uh, work and why it is so difficult for them uh, to do their work and that it would be really interesting for them to have a space where they could um, go to and be safe. This is how uh, Shelter City actually got to life. Shot City was founded about 10 years ago. It was an initiative by uh, our organization Justice and Peace uh, together with uh, the city of The Hague and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I would say the common goal of Shelter City is defending the human rights defenders, as I always call it. So it's making sure that human rights work um, is done, not only, but is also defended against powers uh, that do not want people to do that kind of work. So that combination, defending human rights defenders and bringing the international and the local together is in my view sort of the common aspect of Shelter City. And back then, uh, yeah, we were very excited about this idea, but we were thinking that this is impossible, like uh, such a complicated program with involvement of local authorities, etc., etc., it would be very hard to organize. And then when the Shelter City started to work, uh, work, work here in the Netherlands, uh, we got some inspiration. So that's why we uh, dared to do it and it worked. But still we have a very big waiting list. So we receive uh, at least uh, four applications uh, per one place. Uh, so demand is growing and that's why we think that uh, uh, Shelter City should expand. Yeah, sometimes the, the HR artists think that they are alone. They do not have someone who, who really cares on, uh, for them and who considers what they do. So when they meet uh, other defenders and when they are located, it is uh, encouraging. There are many human rights defenders living in very, very difficult and dangerous situations. So we need to, um, uh, as a city of the Netherlands and especially as the capital of the Netherlands, we have a responsibility in being uh, solidar, solidarity uh, with uh, human rights defenders. I think that it is really important to realize that it is not just providing human rights defenders with a safe space or that uh, our work is finished when we have provided human rights defenders a safe space. What I hope we can achieve is that we can uh, work with human rights defenders, uh, help them build skills, build new strategies uh, in order to, to change the societies that, uh, that they come from and they're working. Uh, and I think it's also important for, for a city as the Hague uh, to, to, to be part of this network. Um, because we are an international city of justice and peace and we have a lot to offer, we have a lot of international organizations in our city um, and I think it's also important for the, for the people of The Hague itself that, we, that, they come, that they can come in contact with human rights defenders from all over the globe and uh, learn about uh, their experiences and, 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 and see how, how courageous they are. So what I'm really proud of um, in the last 10 years we have been uh, building a network of uh, cities, organizations and people uh, to provide safe spaces uh, for human rights defenders at risk. We have been supporting 400 human rights defenders worldwide and only in the city of The Hague uh, in these 10 years we have been supporting 39 human rights defenders. To human rights defenders um, I would like to say first of all thank you. Thank you for your commitment, thank you for um, uh, believing in changing your um, country, in changing your society, in uh, believing in uh, that your work can contribute to a more beautiful, uh, a more equal, uh, a better world. Our final objective is that we do not need to exist. Yeah? And that's the objective. The objective is that we hope that shelter cities will not be needed. But right now in our context, it is very needed.